everybody welcome back to my pop sports this is grandy uh hopefully everybody had a, is having a great week um and today as the weekend's coming up i just want to kind of talk about what's been selling what's sell, what's been selling this week over the weekend this past last weekend uh also just kind of what i'm looking to probably purchase more of you know whether lots or just you know specific players um Keep in mind, uh, disclosure, do not go buy these darn cards. I'm just, remember, I think I did a video about this. You know, sports cards is can be highly speculative. So uh, I'm just kind of giving you guys a head, you know, uh, of what I'm doing and what I'm looking to do. I could be wrong. I could be right. I have no idea. But at least from trends wise this is what i am gonna do so just to kind of give everybody a heads up on that uh just you guys first time here appreciate it. forgot to say that you know uh thank you for checking out the channel so what has been selling uh towards the end of january 2024 so this is this is when i'm recording here and in my ebay store instagram people who are just you know messaging me you know for purchasing of cars things like that uh what i have seen move tremendously obviously is with the playoffs of football football and the hot players have been moving so when i say hot players is the ones who have been playing very well uh up to the playoffs all of the year this year and those are the ones that are moving tremendously basketball it's only been kind of one player moving. I think we all kind of know is Victor. Uh, he's been the only one that I've been able to kind of move, uh, you know, consistently. I, you know, basketball has just, like I said, for some reason this year, this season, I feel like it's just kind of on a, a downturn in regards to sales and everything. So maybe the playoffs will, I might see an uptick. I'll let you guys know on that. Uh, but currently, I, I mean, I'll be upfront with you guys. Basketball ain't moving worth shit. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. You know, people uh, are, you know, I, I get some offers here and there. Uh, a lot of a low ball offers, obviously, for some of the slabs. And I, I guess I, I am moving some of the uh, lower end, um, I guess you can say basketball cards or just cards that I probably underpriced. And that's on my fault because... I mean, I priced it a while ago. Some of them, they're just underpriced, so I might be moving some of those. But in reality, I've just not seen the quite traction that I still continuously see in football. So I don't know. Football is just, it, you know, it's just moving. Uh, baseball is moving consistently. Uh, I feel like uh, I would say the mid to the low of baseball moves. You know, autos moves quite, a, you know, pretty well in baseball. I feel like uh, in the lower end baseballs, rookie cards, I still feel like those move well. Uh, Bowman, uh, I, I feel like a lot of Bowman chromes, a lot of Bowman uh, first year Bowmans and stuff of players are still continuously moving pretty well consistently at least I would say uh, but those aren't super high end you know cards or anything like that so or even mid I would say so like I just said th that's what's moving and what I feel like also I still see and the crazy thing is even players who didn't play well in the playoffs are moving so i see a lot of buyers are still moving that however they're you know giving the best offers they're trying to lowball you but there's a lot of interest in that so that's that goes into the second part that i kind of want to talk about is you know what am i looking to purchase what am i going to buy in regards to lots things like that so lots as you guys already know if you've been following me is that i i, I stay within that mid-range of nice patches, autos, inserts, numbered card, rare cards uh, of stars. You know, that's just the way it goes. People are gonna buy stars, right? Um, I feel like what I'm gonna be focused more on inventory wise is probably specific players. Uh, a lot of the, I would say the top quarterbacks didn't that didn't do too well this year that I feel like they're gonna have, um, anticipation next year that a lot of people are expecting them possibly to do well so like i said it's highly speculative guys so i'm going to be looking more at joey b's joe burrow cards i'm going to probably get a lot of uh justin herbert cards i'm going to look more into that and the reason being because i feel like once he has a good coach the chargers have a good coach we'll see where that pans out uh his talent level is still up there people still feel like he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league so i feel like his cards right now are, are pretty low 
compared to when you know the hype was up for him so I'm, I'm gonna look to see if i can get you know better deals of him um i feel like the hype around him will will be up again with the new coach that's just kind of the way the nfl works so he has a new coach next fall or this coming up fall i feel like oh it's a new year they're gonna do well highly anticipating you know his play and all that stuff so i feel like his stuff will probably move decently uh so i'll probably look into him same thing with joe burrow i think with the injury and everything uh, i think everybody expecting him to come back and, and possibly do well um i may even look into the up and comers everybody from like jalen hurts uh or not up and cover but not jalen hurts but justin fields i think uh, depending on what my Bears do, I don't know what their Bears going to end up doing. I think, that, you know, whether the Bears keep him and build around him, whether the Bears trade him or whatever, a new scenery, there's going to be a hype around him too, I feel like. So quarterbacks like that, uh, I, I feel like is a good, it's a good, you know, purchase possibly, I feel like. Um, another aspect that i'm going to look to 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 possibly get into a little bit more purchase cards of, of people kind of like you never know with like trey lance uh sam howell guys in the second to lower tiers that there's a possibility and you can get them at dirt cheap price especially like trey lance if you guys go look around uh you can get some dirt cheap trey lance you know cards right now and you never know and you know, if you don't move him, you don't move him. So keep in mind on that. Yeah, if he doesn't do well, if he doesn't even play, you never know. So it just depends. Hey, you guys already know how the NFL works on that. So that's just kind of my thoughts about the NFL. Uh, I will be looking into more of the wide receivers. You know, this is a passing league. So I think running backs are not carrying the same weight as they used to, obviously. Uh, wide receivers and I, you know, wide receivers right now, guys, you guys go look, some of those Justin Jefferson cards are ridiculous prices wise. So uh, I'm definitely going to look at to more of the wide receivers. And then another niche, I think I talked about this briefly. Um, I, I highly am going to get into more of the college guys, the college ones, because I feel like that's what people are buying more of i feel like with the nil and i feel like also uh with the guys who are coming into the the you know the nfl the draft and everything uh, i feel like you can get their college cards uh whether it's autos you know inserts parallels or you know numbered cards while they're at you know bowman on bowman chrome uh or you know bowman u there is a possibility you can get at a lower price at my price point that there's there's more room to grow and i feel that way um because once you get into the pro unis and all that stuff i feel like you know prices kind of get outrageous especially when the when prism comes out silvers all that stuff um you know because go look at freaking uh victor Wimbayama's freaking silver prism card right now him and cj Stroud. go look at their silver rookie cards it's insane guys and if you get them graded you can just imagine right but if you go back and you go get some bowman u ones of you know victors or, or cj Stroud one price points are there you it, for me at least you know for what i'm looking to do so those are the guys i'm going to be looking at i'm going to be kind of backtracking a little bit and going into the uh the college unis and their college parallels that's what i'm going to be looking into so will they sell or not i hope so uh we'll we'll see uh if you know by doing those moves and you know looking to buy those types of cars will help me out in the future or not so those are the the avenues that i'm looking to to possibly you know um, increase the inventory wise uh and then obviously i'm going to be looking at more of um hall of famers and inserts of theirs and you know rare inserts if i can find of some of the hall of famers football and basketball so just to kind of give you a heads up on that um and even some baseball too so i'm, I'm going to be looking in, into those more i feel like uh those don't sell quickly but they sell and move because uh there's always people who are looking to collect these hall of famers you know if there's their favorite player whatever the case may be uh and then it's for me to carry uh specific inserts or you know cool inserts or even graded you know of the of their favorite guys that they can afford uh i think that's also a niche that i i, I want to kind of look forward to purchase and stuff so that's just me that's just me and my ebay store i'm hoping to to grow and that's like i said guys that's what i'm seeing selling right now uh the guys who are in the 
NFL playoffs who are doing really well. And I feel like those guys are continuously going to be selling well until the, the Super Bowl. I feel like, you know, whoever keeps playing very well, I feel like uh, basketball has been not as great. Obviously, I'm hoping uh, we'll see after this all star after the all star break and everything will basketball finally pick up because, you know, football will, will be kind of on the back burner. We'll see. I'm hoping so, because I do have a lot of basketball cards, too. So I, I would love to be able to move. Uh, baseball has been just pretty consistent. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at January 2024 in regards to what I've seen in sales. wise. So other than that, let me know what you guys are seeing on sales. Uh, and then uh, a, there is a show coming up here in Denver. I'll go. I'll talk to some of the dealers and everything. We'll see what's moving there. So if you guys see me there, say hi. If you guys are in the Denver area, uh, but there is a show coming up here within a couple of weeks. So I'll be up there. It should be fun. Hopefully, I can get some inventory stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys are seeing. You know, what's moving for you guys? What What do you guys recommend me looking into the purchase and stuff like that for inventory and all that stuff? So just um, just kind of give an idea what everybody's thoughts are, what they're seeing also so other than that man appreciate if you guys watched the video this far if you guys like this stuff feel free to subscribe do not forget please check out the ebay store put the links on the description uh on top of that man if you guys are watching this and have not subscribed all good i appreciate you guys even watching the video this far so i appreciate that so other than that man till next time guys